Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. Theologically speaking, that means religion, there have been many repercussions on humankind from the story of Adam and Eve in the Bible. But there's also been a physiological effect, too, because that story from the book of Genesis about those two residents of the Garden of Eden provided the name for a part of the human body. What do you know about the Adam's apple? The medical term for that thing protruding from the front of the male throat is the prominentia laryngea. Mine's right here. The Adam's apple is just a layer of thick cartilage that really doesn't have a physiological function except to protect the throat and larynx, or voice box. In children, the cartilage is thin and doesn't show much. But in puberty, it lengthens and thickens, and usually becomes visible to the point where you can see it moving or even bobbing up and down when you speak. It's called an Adam's apple because of its prominence in males, as if a piece of the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge got stuck in Adam's throat when he very unadvisedly ate it and passed down the physical trait to all his male children. But if you think that means women don't have Adam's apples, you're wrong. Women actually do have a layer of throat cartilage around their voice boxes, but it doesn't protrude as much. In the male throat, the two plates of cartilage come together at an average angle of about 90 degrees. In women, the average angle is 120 degrees, and it creates less of a lump. Now, why this physiological difference exists between the sexes is anyone's guess. If you're curious, thumb through the book of Genesis and see if Eve has an idea. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior.